Hey everyone, this is Mason from FilterGrade. Spark AR is the technology behind Instagram and Facebook Messenger filters. Recently, Facebook made this software available to everyone with Spark AR Studio. It lets anyone create their own interactive 3D filters such as masks, face tattoos, and other effects that track motion and movement through 3D space. In this video, we'll cover the basics of using Spark AR to make your very first Instagram filter. To get started, download and install Spark AR Studio from the website. When you open up the program, you'll be prompted with a number of sample projects. These templates make great starting points for many effects and can be easily adjusted to fit your needs. For this tutorial, we'll start with a new project. You'll be taken to a 3D interface with a video capture of a person's face being captured by a phone camera. This lets you see your filter live. You can also click on the camera and change the camera type, as well as the sample face you're using. This lets you make sure your filter works on a variety of skin tones, hairstyles, and more. You can even test yourself if you have a webcam hooked up. To create our face overlay, we'll start by clicking Add Object and adding a face mesh. This will create a reactive mesh layer across what Spark AR determines to be a face. With the new layer, called Face Mesh Zero by default, selected, you'll see some properties come up on the side of the screen. What we want is in the Materials section. Expand that and it will create a blank material. Over in the Assets panel, you'll see the new material show up. Now we need to create a texture for that material, and for that we will need Spark AR's Face Reference Models. Click on the Help button, and click Download Face Assets. Download the assets, then open whichever reference you like in Photoshop. Now you can use that shape to map out where on the face your markings should go. Once you've laid out your face markings, hide the face asset and export the image as a PNG, making sure that the background is transparent as well as any spaces on your shapes that should have transparency. Now drag that texture into the Assets panel of Spark AR, where it will identify it as a texture. Select the material layer, and then click the drop down menu for texture. From there, just select the texture imported, and it will apply to your face. Try moving around or watching the pre-recorded faces to make sure the mask tracks properly and the shapes warp correctly to match facial movements. Lastly, you will want to publish your filters to Instagram and Messenger. Click File, Export, and just follow the prompts. Once you click Upload, it will open Spark AR Hub. Doing this will upload it for review by Facebook and it should get approved shortly if it meets their guidelines. This is probably the easiest effect to accomplish with Spark AR. If you like this video and want to see more Spark AR tutorials, make sure to let us know in the comments below or by liking and subscribing. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you're looking for professional LUTs, Lightroom desktop and mobile presets, Premiere Pro templates, and more photo and video education, visit filtergrade.com today.